Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the products that I received over two um, Ulta hauls um, over the past couple of months. Um, one was about two weeks ago. They had a sale um, that was buy two uh, Ulta Beauty products and get two free. So, so I purchased all the products that I was interested in in the Frida Kahlo line. So first up, I got the brush set. And the brush set comes with um, comes with a, a container, which I haven't actually opened this package up. So let me open it up. So it comes with four brushes. Um, the brushes feel like synthetic fibers, and they are very soft. What I plan on doing is doing my whole face um, in Ulta Beauty products, featuring specifically this line, and I will use these brushes when I do that. This does retail for $30. Um, so it's, I don't think that's bad for four brushes. You know, a lot of places, one brush is like $42. So $30 for four and the case is not bad. And it's just a plain tin. And then next we have the uh, palette. And the palette comes with, it's like a little sponge that's for cleaning your brushes so that you don't mix the palette together. Um, the colors are like a little all over the place, so I'm not really sure how they would work together. I'm still not in the adventurous stage, so I'm not really sure which shades I would use out of this. But I'm just going to swatch a couple colors so that you guys can see what they look like. So, start off with the darkest one. This is the black. has some nice pigment um, it's a little patchy as you run it down but I mean that's to be expected and then I'll check this magic and this is a shimmer and that is a shimmer it looks really good um, not too patchy it does have a little fallout but not terrible and then let me also um, look at this burnt orange here and that's called Adobe. It's pretty good. I mean, again, a little patchy, but I mean, you can always build them up. So, I mean, this palette's $30. I don't think this is bad for $30. You know, you get decent sized pans, the colors, the pigments there. I mean, that pigment looks really good. This is called the New Hue Shadow Switching Pan. The black one is for dry, and then this can be dampened, and then it'll take off your cream shadows. So, um, that's kind of interesting. Usually when I'm applying eyeshadow, I'm, like, working to mix them together, but I guess it's to keep you from mixing them together in the pan, which is kind of, it's a nice idea. Um, I will be interested to see if it actually works the way that they say it does. And then this comes in, this is, like... A, um, like a cardboard case so it's like a collector thing and like I'm sure everything could fit in this one little case here which is kind of nice and then I also got the lipstick and this is the matte lipstick in the shade sensual and it looks like a real nice nude color then I also got the heart of gold illuminator so this is just like a, um, a highlighter and it's a gold color so, let's see what it looks like on this hand. That's a nice highlighter. I've never really, uh, no, I've never used a liquid highlighter. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. So, yeah, it looks good. Even blended out, it has a nice a little shimmer to it. It's not too gold. Um, sometimes golds can make my skin look kind of yellow. So it's pretty good. It doesn't look gold when it's blended out. So I'll be interested to try this. And then I also got the, um, what is this blush? Yeah, it's a, a cool matte bronzer and a medium pink blush. So, okay. 
So now you can actually see what they look like. So the bottoms, the browns are obviously in the top is the blush. Let's see, it's much in here. It's a nice blush color, nice rosy pink. And it doesn't look like it's like really, really bright pink. You know, sometimes when you put um, blush on, it's really, really noticeable. I think this would blend out to be something that looks really natural and just looks like, you know, you have little rosy cheeks. Um, and then the last thing I got from that line was the Perfect Can Canvas Face Primer. Um, I only ever use one primer and I tried another one out today. It didn't work out well. So I'll be anxious to try this and see if it works with my skin and if it works alongside, you know, my foundation, whichever one I choose to try with this. Um, <clears throat> oh, no, I'm doing a whole, I'll be doing a whole face of Ulta Beauty makeup. So, I'm glad this was sitting right in front of me. So, I'll be trying it out with the Ulta Beauty Stick, Moisturizing Foundation Stick. And this is in the shade Medium to Tan Warm. <clears throat> so, it's just, I've never used the stick foundation. So, um, with the sale, I wanted to try it. So, that's what the shade looks like. Let me blend it out a little bit on my hand and see if it looks like it matches it's not bad yeah I think that'll match good with my skin so I did good and then I got the uh, full coverage liquid concealer and it's waterproof from Ulta Beauty and that's in the shade medium neutral because I am a neutral medium and I will be um, testing all of these products together so I'll be doing a full face of Ulta products I also got a mascara somewhere I know you guys haven't seen me use a mascara and that's because I'm really bad at putting it on. But um, I wanted to do a full face. It's right here. So it is the lengthening. Oh, legendary lengths. Trying to read it backwards, didn't work out. So legendary lengths mascara, I'll be trying. This bad boy was free. With a 1950 purchase and obviously if I got the whole line I spent more than 1950 so I got this for free and it came with three brushes um, a dual-sided eyeliner which is black and brown and a dual-sided lip liner and it's mauve and nude pink and then it came with you know glosses and two matte lips it came with a face primer, which I did try this face primer before, and it did, it, oh, it was terrible for me. It didn't work out. There's an HD setting powder. There's another um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow, and then this is a blush and contour palette. So there's a highlighter in there. Two high, looks like two highlighters, a, con, a bronzer, and a blush. Um, and then it also came with a. I had it. I don't know where it went. It's a um, eyelid primer, and it's in a it's a nude. So um, I never use eyelid primers, so I'm not sure if I'll try it. I I think I um, looked at the consistency, and it looked funky to me. So oh, right here it is. It's always right in front of my face, always. So this is what the eyelid primer looks like. That used to be in here, but I took it out. So yeah, this was free. Um, it retails for $24.99, I believe. So, I mean, if you're new to makeup and you're looking for something just to play around with that you don't want to spend a lot of money on, this has basically everything except for foundation. And yeah, so for foundation, right? Yeah, because there's setting powder, there's a primer, eyelid primer, lipsticks, lip glosses, you know, you got your whole blush, the eyeshadow, and there's brushes in there. So, yeah, this is, like, a perfect, like, startup set. So, if you're starting out and you want something just to play around with, this box, Ulta Beauty, $24.99. Hopefully, they still have it because <laughs> I haven't looked. Um, and then I also got a finishing powder, and this is a lightweight matte finishing powder. 
and it's in the shade medium neutral. So that's it for the Ulta Beauty products. Um, again, I will be doing a full face of Ulta products. I have an eyeliner and everything. I don't know if I'll do the eyeliner, but I, I may try it for you guys. We'll see. So next up is more recently, more recently as in this past week, they had a coupon out for 20% off. Plus, they had a sale on most things. Plus, they had a free gift with a $30 bath purchase and a free gift with a $70 purchase, you know, total purchase. So, if you make a $70 purchase, you get two free gifts with like, I think it's like 35 things. So, it's like, an, it was an insane deal plus 20% off. So everything I'm about to show you, I got for $80. $80. It was a little over $80. Can't beat it. I will start out with the free gifts. So this was a free 28 piece thing with, um, with the $70 purchase. So the first four things I got are four things that if you've watched my other videos, you will know that I will never use in my life. And it was four samples of perfume. Perfume gives me headaches. Well, most perfumes give me headaches. I can use some, but I get so many headaches that I don't even want to test it to see if I can use any of those. Um, they're my least favorite samples to get. So it's... Paco Rabanne. I don't even know what these are. And it's one million. And they're like, they're decent sized samples. Like you can get a few uses out of these. And then there's also Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. And Nest Fragrances Grapefruit Verbena. And I dropped the other one on the floor. So hold on. The other one is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. I'll be giving these away. I'm having yard sale next week. They'll be out at the yard sale. Someone can take them. I'm sure someone will be more than happy to take them off my hands. And then I also got this Soap and Glory No Woman No Dry. It's a hydrating body butter. Um, it's scented with Call of Fruity. Fruity and exotic fragrance. So I don't know what this is going to smell like. But it's a hydrating body butter. It's intensely moisturizer blend with coconut oil cocoa butter passion fruit and aloe extracts so it probably won't smell that bad i mean it's made with cocoa butter and shea butter perfect i love cocoa butter and shea butter and then i already have a sample of this i haven't tried it yet but it's the smashbox photo finish um primer then i have this reveal your ultimate glow by london town it's a serum for hands and nails so it's pretty good and then I got this oil and pore control mattifier broad spectrum from Murad it's 10 hours of oil shine and pore control so it's like a primer it has SPF 45 which is kind of high I think I don't know I don't really use sunscreen um, joyful a shampoo conditioner and a styler I'll probably not use this I'll probably put this out for the art sale too and this is Urban Decay Brow Endowed and this is in the shade taupe which I think the shade taupe is too light for me but I will test it and see I do like Urban Decay's products so I will still test it This Clarins Cream Rose Lumiere. And it's just a cream for all skin types. And then there's a, a Hello Hydration Face Cream from e.l.f. You know I'll definitely use this. I love e.l.f. Um, there's a tiny sample of MAC lipstick. Like, I think 
think I'm just supposed to put my lips on here and it's supposed to put the lipstick on my lips. I don't know what kind of sample this is. Big and sexy hairspray. Won't use. Never use hairspray. Never. You know, my hair is always up. Or it's down and it's curly. And then when I straighten it, I don't use hairspray either. So I probably never use that. I'll probably put this off for the yard sale too. I really love me at this yard sale. Then there's this Living Proof Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. It's a salt fate free shampoo and a sulfate free conditioner. Um, let me see. Well, this is for color care. My hair isn't colored, but I may still try it just to see what happens. I mean, it's sulfate free, so that's always a good thing. And then there's a buxom plump up volume. There's a plumping lip polish. Never heard of a lip polish. And I think it's like three small little things. Yeah, it's three little dabs of um, lip polish. So I like Dolly and Sabrina, these two. This one looks way too dark for me, unless it goes on like a lip gloss instead of a lipstick. Um, I will definitely still try them out. And then I got this Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And it's in a black shade, which is always perfect. Black eyeliner is the best. Then there's this Hue Color Fresh Shampoo and Conditioner. Not sure who thinks my hair is colored, but it's not. Probably won't use that. Then there's this Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. Fall asleep naturally and wake up refreshed. So, what are you? We believe beautiful skin starts with a good night's sleep, which is why we developed our award-winning Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. A super blend of true lavender, wild chamomile, and vetiver. Fall asleep faster, naturally, and wake up refreshed. So... This you just shake and shake the sample and spray it on your bed linen. It's supposed to help you sleep. I'm terrible at sleeping. This is so great. I will be trying this out. Um, lavender is actually one of lavender is actually one of my favorite scents. So not so rare, but I just like the scent of lavender. Like any cleaners I get, you know, like Lysol or whatever, mop stuff lavender scented love lavender scent so I'll, I'll definitely be testing that next up i got another pore professional primer sample from benefit cosmetics if you watched my last video you know this is like a super tiny sample but nonetheless it was a free sample so i'm not gonna complain not gonna complain. I'd be happier with a bigger sample, but it's a free sample, so it is what it is. I didn't pay for it. Um, and then we got this CeraVe moisturizing lotion. The lotions are always good. Um, Ultra Repair Berry Air Cream. Strengthen balance and hydrate it's safe for sensitive skin I still don't really know what it is is it for my face or is it for my skin allergy tested and fragrance free love fragrance free um, it just says use daily in the a.m. and p.m. apply evenly over clean skin so I'm gonna guess it's for the face guess I'll google it later I have this, it's a 10 Miracle Deep Conditioner plus Keratin. It says, after shampooing, apply generously throughout hair, leave in for two to five minutes, rinse thoroughly. So this is something that I will definitely try out. I love deep conditioners. As we all know, my hair is dry. So hopefully this will do something to help. Keratin is always good. And it doesn't smell bad. I mean, it actually smells kind of good. So I'll be trying this out. This is a nice size sample. Like, 
This is a great size sample. I can probably get two uses out of this because I have so much hair, but it's a good size sample. <clears throat> then we got my favorite Dr. Bronner's Peppermint uh, Castile Soap. You know, as we all know, I use this to wash my face. So getting some extra is always fantastic. <clears throat> I got NARS lipstick sample. It's in the shade Tolade. I have this probiotic lysate anti-pollution essence. And after cleansing, pour approximately five to six drops of the essence onto your palm using fingers gently press into skin. Follow with your usual serum and moisturizer for some use only. Avoid contact with eyes. So this is like just like a serum that hold on. Just like a serum that is designed to keep pollution away from your skin. So I may or may not try that. I'll probably try it. Um and this is Advanced Skin Care Vitamin A Serum. One other serum, just put on your skin. Um, doesn't give you introductions, but it probably goes on your skin before you apply your makeup after moisturizing. Is that what this one said? Oh, after cleansing, so it's before you put anything on. So it's right after you wash your face, you put this stuff on. It's supposed to protect your skin. That's it, out of the bag. And then it came with this nice little um, makeup bag. It's plastic, it's actually kind of large, so you can fit you know, decent sized products in here. So that's a nice gift. You know, I did have to spend $70 to get it, but I also got a lot of products in that $70. So I'm gonna continue with the other free stuff I got with the purchase and then we'll get into the actual products that I bought. So this is the That Feel Good Vibe bag and this came with a $30 bath purchase. And on the back it does say what's in it but I'm just going to take it out and show it to you guys. And these are nice size. I don't even think these are samples. In all honesty, because they're really big. Like, so first up, we have Earth Therapeutics Foot Palm Balm. Um, it's triple butter, so it's cocoa butter, mango butter, and shea butter, and it's for your feet. It's always good to have something, you know, to help moisturize your feet. You're on your feet all the time. If you get her in shoes, they can get kind of gross. Nice to have something, you know, put that moisture back in there. Um, next up, we have hemp. Aroma Body Pure Herbal Extracts Milk and Honey Herbal Body Moisturizer. That did not look like herbal when it was like this. This is what that looks like. Next we have Blitz, Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator for All Day Moisture. So it's just, um, it's a moisturizer. Put it on your face before your makeup. And then we have Times Kimono Rose Body Lotion. And this is obviously a sample. It's small. And then there is the Body Shop Almond Milk Body Yogurt for sensitive skin. We all know I have sensitive skin, so this is perfect for me. It says 48-hour moisturizing, instantly absorbing, and non-sticky gel cream. Can be applied to damp skin after your shower, especially formulated for sensitive skin. Biggest thing in there is this puppy here. And this is Tree Hut 24 Hour Intense Hydrating Shea Body Butter with Moroccan Rose. And I think this smells like roses. I did smell it. Yeah, it's it, this smells so good. Like, it has that slight perfume scent with the rose but it's not overpowering. A lot of stuff that has perfumes in it, it's overpowering. And that's the stuff that gives me a headache. So this smells really good. This is a big, like, it's so big for getting it for free. Two more things in this bag. So I have this 
Daily Concepts Exfoliating Dual Texture Scrubber. Um, it says clinically allergy and dermatology tested. It says it's mild, so it's not super soft, but it's not super rough. So like this, I feel like it can harbor a lot of germs. So I'm not sure if I'm even gonna use it. It's something weird. I may give it to my boyfriend so he can use it. Um, the last thing that's in the bag is this um, Ahava Active Dead Sea Minerals. And it's Dead Sea Mineral, Dead Sea Water Mineral Body Lotion. So it's obviously just the body lotion that you can use anywhere on your body. It does it smells pretty good. It doesn't smell bad. It kind of smells like, have you ever gotten hotel like lotion and soap? It kind of smells like that. So I mean like it's not a bad smell, but it's not the best smell in the world. Um, it's something tolerable, not super strong, but you know, not the best smell. That's kind of what it smells like. It's the best thing. That's the only thing that I can think of that I can equate that smell to. So it's not bad, but it's not good. So now we are going to get into the stuff that I purchased to actually get this stuff for free. So I'm going to start out with um, the stuff I purchased for the bath. And the first thing I got was the Shea Moisture Wash Shea Butter um, Hydrating Body Lotion. And it's for dry skin. So um, I got this because winter time is coming and my skin dries out in the winter. So um I've heard good things about Shea Moisture. I've never personally tried it, but I, you know, I saw an opportunity to buy this and get, you know, a lot of stuff for probably not free, but you know, free. I got this Spongibles Petty Scrub in a sponge. So this is for the feet and it says it has 20 plus washes and you, know, you just use it to scrub your feet and wash them in the shower. So it has shea butter and tea tree oil. So um, my feet are like, kind of like the worst spot as far as dryness goes on my body. So um, that's something that I wanted to get and try, try to get my feet back into better shape. Because I know you guys see me a lot, like if I have my hair down, I'm struggling to keep my hair out of my face. Um, this is a black cat bath headband. So it's just used to keep your hair out of your face while you're applying your makeup. And I got peppermint essential oil so um, I keep peppermint oil on hand because I get a lot of headaches and if you do not know this you know this now peppermint oil if you put it on your temples and on like your pressure points like right here on your wrist it will help to alleviate a headache so if you have a headache get some peppermint oil put that on your temples um, depending on how bad my headache is, I put on my temples, my wrist, and then sometimes I put it in the back of my neck. And it may not get rid of your headache, but it will alleviate the symptoms. It will make you feel better. So I highly recommend keeping, if you have migraines, keep peppermint oil on hand because it will help you. That's all I got for the bath purchase. It's not a lot of stuff for thirty dollars, but yeah, yeah, that yeah, that's all I got was those four things. Um, hopefully they work. I didn't realize I only got four things, but I got all that stuff for free, so it was it was worth thirty dollars. I'm not even gonna talk about it again. Next up is the rest of the stuff that I purchased to get up to the seventy dollars to get the free bag. And again, all of this stuff that I purchased was the purchase price plus an extra 20% off. So I got an excellent deal. Yeah. So all this stuff, this stuff I'm gonna show you next was in a little bag, so it's just the most handy. Um, I got the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. So um, I do, Still plan on doing a full face of NYX makeup. So I got the setting spray to set my makeup, you know. Um, see, I did the face of Makeup Revolution and I could not find this lipstick for the life of me 
And I was like, I know I took it out of the box, but obviously I didn't because I didn't do this video yet. So this was the lipstick that I got to try today, <laughs> but I already did the look. So um, I'll just try it in another time. I'll try it when I try the foundation again with another primer. So I got this and it's in the shade Knockout. And it looks like a cute little nude pink. And I forgot to rinse my, wash my hand off. Oh, that's brighter than I thought it was. Um, but it'll work, it'll work. And then I also got this Fast Base Concealer. It's lightweight, buildable coverage to conceal dark circles and imperfections. So this also would have been good to have today with the Makeup Revolution look because I had a hard time covering my blemishes using those products. Um, the foundation and concealer didn't work well together, but if you watch the video, you'll know that. Um, but yeah, this would have been nice to have earlier too. And this is in the shade C11, which is darker than the other ones I got. So I'm not really sure why I got this. I think it was only like $1.75 and I needed it to get to, um, I needed to get to a certain amount of money. So I probably just threw this in the bag because it was cheap. So I know that um, I did make a revolution look today. And as I was doing it, I was like, I really want to use the rest of the stuff I have in this box, but I already committed to it and I committed to doing this video at a later time. So, um, I have lots of palettes. All of their, all of their stuff was like 30% off and then I got an additional 20% off. So I'd be crazy not to take advantage of that, right? I need someone to tell me that I'm right because I spent a lot of money. <laughs> um, but first up, I got the I Love Revolution White Chocolate Palette. And then Revolution, Make It Revolution. And this is the Rose Gold Chocolate. And then I got the Mint Chocolate. <laughs> and then I got the Golden Bar. And then I also got this Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold Blush Palette. So um, I didn't have a blush earlier. And I was like, I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild one. I bought all of this stuff so that I could do the look and do it right. And I forgot that I bought it all. So go me. Here is what the inside of the blush palette looks like um they all look like they're most of them look like they're baked yeah it doesn't say that but they're all supposed to be blusher powders but they're not um <laughs> these look like um bronzers these are definitely blushes and these two look like they are probably um highlighters I'm not really sure Let's just see what this... Oh, yeah. That, that's definitely a highlighter. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely a highlighter. That has some nice pigment to it, though. Not, I'm not even going to swatch these two because they're bronzers. There's no point. Let's see what you look like. Looks like another highlighter. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That is a nice highlighter. Let's see what this looks like because this looks like it's... This pink one looks like it's the only blush in here. And it's probably like a blush lighter. Yeah, that's a blush lighter. Definitely not just a blush. That's this one right here. Yeah, that's it's more like a blush lighter. So these are, in, in my opinion, none of these are blushes. They are all highlighters or bronzers. I don't see a single blush in here. I mean, this is like a blush color, but they all have a shimmer to them, which in my opinion, no longer makes them a blush, it makes them a highlighter. But that's just me. Everyone is different. I don't want two different shiny things on my face, so I'm not gonna use a 
shiny blush and then use a highlighter on top of it. It's just gonna make my face look like a disco ball. I don't want that. So this will just be a highlight palette for me. I may use the pink one as like a blush and a highlighter combined, but I'm definitely, definitely not gonna use it as a blush and then use a highlighter on top of it. I got this bag from NYX with a NYX purchase. And I almost forgot I have two other things on the other side because they ship two of my items separate from the rest of my package. But I got this NYX Mystic, pa Mystic Petals palette. So it has some um, decent shades in it. Um, I got this to do the full face of NYX makeup. So um, that should be coming probably next week. Um, I'm going to try and do like testing of foundations and concealers weekly um, just because I don't want to cause any super irritation on my face but I may do like an unboxing or something similar um, in between and then like I said the last thing I'm going to do is swatch a couple colors out of this rose gold palette so you guys can see what you know what it's all about um, the palette I used earlier I wasn't a big fan of so I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of like, why did I buy these? But they were 30% off. And one of them was like five bucks. So why not buy a palette this size for five bucks plus 20% off? It'd be crazy not to. So came with a dual sided um, applicator. Um, I'll never use that. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. They look like pretty shades. Um, and then as always, they have names on a piece of paper that sits over top. I would kind of wish they would label it inside the pan, but it's all good. So I'm going to see what this shade looks like here. And let me tell you what it's named. If I, I threw this, I don't know why I threw it. It's called, wait, which one did I say? It's called Not Yours, the pink one. I'm gonna have to do it on my arm because I'm feeling up my hand and I've got to wash it off. <clears throat> so that's pretty. It's a pretty pink shade. I'm gonna do, I dropped the paint. No, here it is. I'm gonna go in with Side Chick and then I'm gonna try Dirty Rich, which is a shimmer shade. So I'm gonna do another matte and then I'm gonna see what the shimmer looks like. I'll actually do it, do it show you them both at the same time. Eh. Eh. So, the dark red was a little patchy. There's some fallout. But the shimmer, beautiful. It's way better than the one I used earlier. So, maybe this was like a come up. I forgot the best thing I bought. And that was the Lion King lipstick. Um, Lion King is one of my favorite movies from when I was little. I'm trying to get my daughter to love it. She does not at this point. Um, she hasn't even sat down to watch the movie, which is depressing. But I got this chocolate lipstick. That's what it looks like. It feels good. I don't really necessarily like the color because it's too chocolate for me. Like, this looks weird to me. If it looks good, please let me know. Because I don't think it looks good. But I wanted it because I love the package. I'm going to keep the box too. The box has a quote in it. This is actually called Be Prepared. Well, it's actually called Travel. But it says I want to be prepared. So it is a tribute to Scar's scene in The Lion King. And it says, I laugh in the face of danger. And Simba says that in the movie. So, um... I'll probably be keeping this box. I mean, look look at it. Look at this packaging. Look at this. Like, who wouldn't want to keep this? The lipstick actually is growing on me. Does this look good, guys? Drop me a comment down below and let me know.